few artists have gone through a musical evolution on the level of Joey Jewish. The change between his music as Dorian Gray, his debut album The American Dream as Joey Jewish, and then his subsequent album Beautiful Solitude was just immense. However, the Vontes Project series has opened up an entirely new lane for Joey Jewish, and the Vontes Project 2 in particular capitalizes on this new path. Seeing this change, I think it's a good time to ask, is it a good change, and what does this new path actually look like? What's up everyone, it's Sim I Am, and I'm back this time with a review for the Vontes Project 2. Without further ado, let's see what Joey Jewish has to say this time around. So in the past, Joey Jewish would often write lyrics that were somewhat melancholy in nature. He typically reflects on life and the past with a sense of sobriety that is deceptively sharp considering his nonchalant style. The Vontes Project 2 looks to mix things up though, as Joey Jewish takes on a more confrontational approach with his messages. In the song Position, he addresses a complicated past relationship. He boldly speaks life over the negative assumptions that were spoken about him, that he'd amount to nothing. Instead, he proclaims that he's living a much better life than he was before, and is enjoying the things that God has provided for him. In Loose Change, we see this assertive and confident attitude manifest in full. Here, Joey swaggers about with brazen lyrics as he reveals that he came up by the limited resources in his environment. Those resources are cleverly referred to as the loose change in his pocket, and the song is an empowering message to work with what you've got. Additionally, there is one particularly clever line I noticed in this song. In the chorus, he says, loose change in my pocket how I came up. Put it in the slot, triple seven on the dot. While it initially seems like a random, lucky gambling line, it's possible that this is a tricky metaphor. The loose change could be referring to his resources, and the slot machine giving Joey a triple seven could mean that God's favor was upon him. Seven is an interesting number biblically, as it manifests in many ways throughout the Bible. Oftentimes, it's God who has things manifest in some form of seven, rather than man. So in all, this could mean that Joey symbolically gave his resources up to God's will and God responded with his favor. Maybe Joey didn't intend for the line to be translated that way. If he did though, then that song is one of the most subtle and well thought out lines from 2017 without a doubt. Joey Jewish is definitely a lyricist at heart, and lines like this demonstrate that quality. His choice of words are often poetic in the way they convey messages, despite the simple and relatable things he talks about. This talent is present no matter what theme he tackles really, whether romance in the song Sweet Love, or gratitude in living in the present in the song right now. This lyrical consistency makes for a project that is able to convincingly sell its own content, and the Vontes Project 2 is very strong in this particular area. Joey Jewish is one of those artists with a very particular sound. This is partially due to the fact that he's able to sing quite well, but even the beats that he uses all have a uniqueness to them. He's fond of beats with dreamy soundscapes, and this project's production could be described as luxurious in a sense. Aside from the song Loose Change, which is a lot more forceful and hard compared to the other songs, this project's overall mood is calm. The beats aren't lacking in emotion per se, but rather everything presents itself with subtlety. The determined atmosphere of the production in the song right now is noticeably relaxed and unbothered. Similarly, the aggressive message of Rambo instead comes across as cool-headed and effortless thanks to the tranquil production. For an artist who muses over life as much as Joey Jewish, this sort of sound he's cultivated is really all too fitting. With all of its stylings, this project embodies that state of being deep in thought, drifting through a sea of old memories with an ever-present awareness of current life. The Vontes Project 2's production evokes a sense of daydreaming in a lulled mindset. It makes for a very unique effect when combined with Joey's very lucid and rational lyrics. Overall, this production complements the contradictory essence of Joey Jewish as an artist. Ever since his album Beautiful Solitude, Joey has increasingly crafted a well-defined image as an artist. He's been moving closer and closer towards becoming that artist who's very distant but in a relatable way. That might sound strange, but in truth, I think many of us can relate to that distant and isolated image that Joey has gotten good at capturing. We all need some time left to our own thoughts so that we can reflect on life and look where God has brought us. There's a real danger in surrounding ourselves with too much noise and being too busy too often. Joey Jewish as an artist often takes that honest, quiet, and reflective time with God then essentially translates it into music. And of course, while he's capable of other sounds, I would say this is quickly becoming his signature sound, 
or at least the one that he's uniquely the best at. This sound is also the dominant one in the Vontes project too. In fact, I would say this project captures this sound most powerfully out of all his projects thus far. Admittedly, it's very short, but this project strongly presents itself. You only need these seven songs to grasp the generality of Joey's artistry, which is naturally a boon for the project. That being said, these songs aren't single-minded or repetitive, and thus we do get a solid sense of variety as well, with bangers like Loose Change and then solemn songs like Low Key. The Vontes Project 2 is a great showing from an indie artist, demonstrating convincingly that these independent guys are able to hold their own in the realm of hip-hop. If you've enjoyed Joey's past projects, then I have little doubt you'll enjoy this one. Although I would like to make a note for those who haven't heard this artist before. While Joey Jewish is poetic in his word usage, his rhyme structures, though creative, fit fairly well with today's hip-hop climate. And what I mean by that is, if you don't like the vibe-heavy, entertaining sounds of today's music, then Joey may feel all too familiar to you. He's much more of a new school artist than an old school one, and so those looking for a more traditional hip hop experience may find too many oddities in this project. If that's not you, then the Vontes Project 2 deserves at least one listen. The dazed and sweeping soundscapes here will take you to a place where you can deeply reflect on your own life. And that's about all I have to say for this one. Joey made some nice improvements from the first Vontes Project, and I'm looking forward to what he has next. How about you guys though? Leave a comment below so I can hear your thoughts on the Vontes Project too. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe as I'll be making videos like this one every Friday. Until next week everyone, peace out.